Elias Pettersson. Oh, boy. Uh, so Patrick Elvin, Donnie, yesterday said uh, they're talking. The two sides never stop talking, even after Pedersen said in the summer he wanted to wait. Jim Rutherford and Patrick Elvin, credit to them. The lines of communication have always been open with Pat Brisson and J.P. Berry. Pedersen never once said he didn't want to resign in Vancouver. He needed time to figure things out like short-term, long-term. It's a big decision in his life. He's a very calculated person, doesn't rush into things. The salary cap needs to rise. This is going to be a big contract, big number. Most people think the number will start with a 12 or high 11s. There is optimism from key people that this will get done. Canucks start. Patterson sitting atop the NHL standings. This doesn't hurt. This is leaning towards a very happy ending for Patterson and the Canucks. And uh, the other one, uh, he doesn't rush into decisions. Patterson, he takes his time, very calculated. It's just a lot of optimism I've heard in the last 24 well, why hours. Why wouldn't there be? Yeah, because he said, I wanted to wait till after the season. And, and everyone, oh, no, no but optimism- he's going to leave. He's going to leave. There's optimism now. Well, there's optimism. He's, he's going to be an RFA, not, not a UFA. Yeah, he's, yeah. And plus, I don't know how wrong you can go with this guy. Yeah. Like within reason. I mean, yeah. if you're going to pay him $15 million a year, okay, there, there, there's an issue there. But. Yeah. I mean, he's been leading the NHL in points. Absolutely, Donnie. Absolutely, you know? Donnie. I, I, as of today, and things change. Negotiations go up, they go down. Sometimes they're close, sometimes they're far. As of right now, I'm just getting a lot of optimism around Pedersen. Phil Kessel. Uh, been told the Canucks are still poking around Phil Kessel. They showed interest in the summer. The two sides talked. Kessel loved, capital letters, L-O-V-E-D, mm-hmm. playing for Rick Talkin in Arizona. Jim Rutherford had him at Pittsburgh. Uh, you can't. Would, would, do- would Kessel and uh, Tockett's paths crossed in Pittsburgh as well? Uh, I got to double check that. But in, but he loved playing with them in Arizona. Uh, Rutherford had him in Pittsburgh, uh, Donnie. No, but Kess, uh, Tockett was part of the coaching yeah, staff. Uh, yeah, he would have been there too. Yeah, okay, so that's a good point. I got you there. Yeah, yeah. You're- okay, let me finish. You're Anyways, rattled. Can't do Kessel. Until you clear up cap space, but I'm not saying they're going to sign him. And don't run off and say they're going to they, they're going to sign. Kessel is Canucks have showed interest since the summer. They're still poking around there, and uh, but you need cap. You got to get okay. Look, nothing can happen until they get rid of uh, Garland and Bavilia to clear up cap space. That's the bottom line.